what are the loops that we can use when trying to conceive as I understand that the natural ones are good for you, but it's difficult to get those. And the sperm friendly loops, apparently there are specific sperm friendly loops. They're very expensive. So could we just use normal water-based loop? So there are a lot of research studies around this idea. Um, and I'm going to break it down. Let's start with the basic thing that yes, lube does impact sperm mortality uh, and the DNA related to sperm. So it can create complications with conception. So it is a problem. Doesn't matter if it is water-based or oil-based, it does create issues. However, when they did research studies and, you know, the general population of women who said they were using lubes and they were tracking their conception, they were able to get pregnant using regular lube, like, you know, just the regular lube that you get. So what the conclusion they came up with, at least for that study, was that actually it's not a problem. However, if you are somebody who has an issue with their sperm mortality or sperm quality or, you know, any issues with your sperm or uh, low sperm, then yes, lube can be a factor and you should look into it and change it. Um, otherwise, you know, you can just get on with life and it'll be fine. So the loop that they suggest is something called Precede or Conceive Plus, which have the same pH level as the vaginal fluids, like the cervical fluids. However, like the person who wrote the question, they are extremely expensive. Like just before this video, I checked it out. They could be anywhere between four to 5,000 in India or between 15 and 20 pounds in UK. Now that is really expensive, a lot of money to spend on lube. So they are expensive. Gosh, that's a lot of money. Normal lube that you just go and buy is like a tenth of the price of that, isn't it? Maybe if, like you said, maybe if it is actually a problem where it, this is a factor in your conceiving, if you have low motility count, low sperm count, etc., and it becomes a serious factor, maybe it's possible to buy this um, specific type of sperm-friendly lobe and only use it during those two or three days of the conception calendar. Do you think that might work? Yeah, I think that's a great idea because I think, you know, you use it for those few days. So, the you know, you can now then stretch that lube much more. What I would definitely say is that, you know, the lube might be one of the 20 factors that you're not conceiving, you know. So, yes, it could be one that you could eliminate. It could be the one that is, you know, causing the lack of, you know, an inability to conceive. However, if there is an issue with conception, I would first go to the OBGYN, get some tests done and see, you know, what the issue is. And they will be the best people to recommend, you know, what you could do or how you could work out alternate loops if this is really expensive for you. Um, so I would, I would really explore or dig deep into this issue if you're having a problem with conception and if you're having a problem conceiving, then first go to the doctor and then, you know, discuss maybe changing the loop. So just to finish, lube is still really good for you. It's important for you. Most of the time, it won't be a problem with the regular lube. And if it is, if it actually is one of the issues that's causing conception not to happen, then it's worth investing in one that's more expensive, but it's worth using it only for those couple of days when the woman is ovulating. And I hope that this helps. And um, yeah, good sexual health to you. And I Hope that anybody out there who's trying to conceive, um, we wish you good luck.